Hey everyone, Valentine's Day is fastly approaching, and by fastly I mean like tomorrow. So I just want to talk about my Valentine's Day look that I did today. I'm going to have a pictorial up on my Instagram and at the end of this video because I'm so terrible at doing uh, video tutorials. Um, I'm getting better, but I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to do a pictorial. But let's talk about some of my favorite products that I use to create this Valentine's Day look. First of all, I think the trick to any Valentine's Day look always includes either a red or a pink lip. So today I went with a red lip and I used Rebel Rain by Colored Rain. So this is the shade. It's a very bright pinky red, um, but I made it a little bit darker and deeper. I used Night Moth in the corner of my lips and I blended it out to the center. I'm going to have a pictorial on that, I promise. And I also used um, the red lip liner from MAC. Both MAC and both uh, red and Night Moth are um, part of the MAC line. And I used that to finish in the center of my lips so that I had the dark contrasting into the light. I also lined, ooh, also lined the top part of my lip with Night Moth to have that contrast. Now, in the center of my lips, after I applied, um, I applied Rebel Rain to the center into the blending. I blended it out with a lip brush. And then I applied a little bit of Julep's uh, Darling lip gloss right to the center of my lip to really catch the light and not keep it, not make it so vamp and dark, but definitely keep it lovingly and adoring. I don't know. I'm trying. Um, then, for my face, I didn't want to look like I was overdone, so I picked a blush that was a little bit soft, but still very pinky, and I chose Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush in Candy Glow. And, of course, it's perfect for Valentine's Day because it's a heart in and of itself. And you get three shades, and I blended them all together using my Oval 6 brush from MAC, and I pretty much just, you know, blended them all together and then just swept right onto my cheekbone so that I didn't have too much of a flush or too much of a hard, um, too much of a harsh blush. But I did use some bronzer to contour because I always want to look my thinnest in the face. And I used the Starlux um, Super Satin Montague Bay. It's really worn because I've worn it a lot. And it has a little bit of a golden glow and I used that right here to really help bring my face to a more slender look. I'm sorry about the earpiece, my microphone broke. So this is my microphone for today. Then for my eyes, I could not pass up using the Lancome Times Elber Albez packaging with the hearts on it. But the good news is that the shades within this palette are permanent. This is the color design um, Rose Coquette number 203. So you can pick this up in the part of the permanent line. And for my eyes, I simply used the I used this as an all over shade. And it's the base, it's listed as a base on the little sheet anyway. I used the pink shade as a mid shade and I blended it out to the sides. Then I used the medium brown shade as a crease shade. I used the sparkly brown shade to go over that. And then I also took this black and I just defined the eye in the outer V. On the bottom of my lashes, on my bottom lash line, I used a Mirabella liner pencil that I got in my, my BoxyCharm box. And I smoked that out just slightly. And um, to highlight, I used the Tarte for Aqua Lilies palette in this, uh, this highlighter right here. I don't remember the name of it, but Mary Luminizer does the trick as well. So for my Valentine's Day look, I kept it very pink and soft in the eyes, but I did smoke it out towards the bottom, and I, kept my, I made my lips very Valentine's Day red. So I kind of went with a black-red-pink scheme. I stuck to the traditional look, and I paired it with a statement necklace of pink, purple, and um, red from a uh, bezel box so um check out my pictorial on my instagram and enjoy the one at the end of this video thank you so much for watching and what are you guys doing for valentine's day what look are you going for please share with me i would love to hear your variations thanks so much for watching please follow me on instagram i'm excited to start